What's up guys, MGH here. Welcome back to yet another episode of my Arsenal career mode. Here is the Champions Cup group stage results so far. We're in Group C, of course, with Roma, Celtic and PSV. And if we get just one more point, I think we're basically guaranteed to go through. However, if we lose, there's still a possibility if um, Celtic lose as well, that we will go through in second place guarantee. But we're against Roma, arguably the best team in this, uh, in this group until I asked you guys, you know, do you think I'm better than them? And the pressure is on because you guys think I'm better than Roma. So I was looking to get three points here, no problem at the Stadio Olimpico, but Roma are no pushover, they've got a very, very solid team, but there was no Totti, I was so upset to see that he's retired in this career mode, don't forget we're in the second season now, um, but that didn't matter really, they had Destro up front instead, and Ashley Cole of course at left back, the old Arsenal and Chelsea player, and um, he was definitely going to be out to impress Arsenal, basically because we let him go, stupidly let him go to Chelsea. I guess it was his decision, but there you go. But anyway, we made a pretty good start to this game. 21 minutes in, we get a shot away there with Welbeck. And surprisingly enough, guys, we're not 1-0 down yet. Absolutely incredible. It's a lovely, perfect pass up to Walcott there. Ran out of opportunities to pass, so I just went for the shot. And Diego Alves, who they've signed to be their goalkeeper, having a very good game indeed so far. Able to stop that one going in the back of the net. Now, of course, we had Jovino on Roma's side as well, an old ex-Arsenal player, and he almost provides an assist there. I mean, look look at that goal mouth scramble. They come, it comes off the bar. They have a few more opportunities to stick it in, but we managed to survive. And then we get on the counter-attack. You guys know what's coming from Welbeck to Ramsey. It's a beautiful one-two. He just powers through that defence. Manolas could not stop him. And Aaron Ramsey has scored! He's been playing absolutely terribly for me lately. Just cannot get on the score sheet. He's not getting assists. And to be honest, I've dropped him a few times. But finally, he manages to get on the score sheet. And actually, it's a very good run. And it's a very good finish against a very good goalkeeper. And also, Manolas, of course, who was almost going to sign for Arsenal, decided to go for Roma instead. Easily beaten. So maybe it's a good thing we didn't sign him, eh? Either way, though, this is Roma. Okay, we're not going to be complacent. We came out in this second half knowing I would have to defend... Mertesacker there doing brilliantly, Chesney comes out and catches it, and I had a moment of madness. What the hell did I just do? Sometimes, guys, I like to drop the ball and do a very quick chip, like a chipped bar pass to my left-sided player or my right-sided player, and for some reason, I just could not chip the ball. I don't know why, I'm not sure what happened there, but we're going to just have to forget it. It's in the past, it's happened. Let's get back in this game. Urza with a great shot there. Actually, it was a rubbish shot. He just goes straight down the middle. I did not ask him to do that. So it's an easy save for Diego Alves. We get the corner. Walcott's going to take it. And it's not a bad cross, but it does come out to Gibbs. We pass it to Rabio. He hits it, and it's blocked by Strootman. Walcott chases it up. He's not able to get it, but Rabio wins the header. Comes out to Ozil, and it's a lovely half volley. And it is so, so close. If that had gone in, I think that would be contender for goal of the series so far. I mean, just look at the bend on that. Outside of the boot, and it just goes over the bar there. Very unlucky, but Walcott really had a good game. Plays it up to Welbeck. I had to have a shot there. I couldn't really risk crossing it in for, for Ozil, especially not on his head. Ozil's not extremely good at heading, um, but nothing came from that. And then the game decides to be over early, basically. It felt like the injury time just went like that so quick. And um, in the end, though, it didn't matter. The point was enough to secure, pro well, not promotion, but enough to get me through to the knockout stages there. We're clear by five points. So the next game has no meaning, really, except from pr trying to come first to get an easier team. But anyway, we'll talk about that later. We come in here against Everton. Lukaku and Eto are on the bench. Very relieved to see that. They are an absolute pain in the ass to defend against. And after that game against Roma, I was so disappointed I didn't get the win. It's all my fault. I thought maybe I'd give Ramsey another go and look at that. How has he missed it? I just do not understand. Any other player, I think, in the team probably would have scored that. But Ramsey just very inconsistent at the moment, clearly. But we get some terrible news, guys. Welbeck lands on his foot absolutely terrible. It's like a crunching. It looked like his foot has snapped in half. But luckily, Ben Teke is on hand to bring on. But just look at the way he lands on his left ankle. Oh, that is nasty. I really hope it's not going to be too bad because Welbeck is definitely my first team uh, striker. But nevertheless, when you can score goals like that, who needs a bloody striker? Wilshire, potentially the smallest player on the pitch, 
just scored an absolutely amazing header. It's a lovely cross from uh, Draxler there, lovely assist. And that is one of my favourite goals I've scored so far. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the way he curls that, and it just about goes into the top corner. If that had missed, I would have been so, so upset. But it did manage to go in. And that is a very good header from Jack Wilshere. So we go in at half-time, potentially 1-0 up. So we're getting some good results so far before half-time. And Draxler, lovely bit of skill. Everton cannot handle me going forward today. And uh, Jaggy Elka, what are you thinking, son? Just leaves his knee out. Cher steps up. And he scores the penalty. I feel sorry for Howard, though. He went the right way, but he wasn't able to stop it. He's a great penalty kick taker. But now into the second half, guys. We did go in with that 2-0 lead, which is absolutely brilliant. Benteke is through and goal. He's so powerful. I made the wrong decision. I passed it to Campbell, thinking I'd be able to square it in. Do a bit of a, bit of a sweaty goal, but it didn't quite work out for me, as you can see. And unfortunately, I miss a chance. They score a chance. Lukaku does come on from the bench there. Still no Eto. But pretty much his first shot of the game and he sticks it in the net. That's why I didn't want him to start. He is an absolute monster on this game. So good finish there by Lukaku. And we find ourselves 2-1 up instead of 2-0. So we needed to get that third goal to get that second goal cushion back again. Benteke leaves it for Draxler and it's game over. Surely only 10 minutes left and Draxler makes it 3-1. I still have no idea why I wasn't able to take the shot with Benteke. The game made me leave it for some reason. But it still ended up with a goal. And Draxler to round off potentially a man of the match performance. Scores his second of the game. So out of three goals, he's assisted one and scored two. Amazing performance from Draxler. I really, really do like him. Technically, he got two assists. He was the one brought down for the penalty. But I'm not sure it counts like that. But we do actually end up beating Everton 4-1. Now that is a really good result at home there. And now we move into a game against Aston Villa, of course. In the Capital One Cup, we are simming this. It's a good way to test the squad. We're at home, so we really should be winning this game. No problems. But into the second half, nothing's happened. And then we get an injury to Talbot. Great, so Ospina and Talbot both injured. And then we concede. Wow. So now we're out of the Capital One Cup. God damn it. Now, a lot, a lot of you are probably going, oh, you should have played it. But I refuse to play the Capital One Cup if I've said that I'm going to sim it. All the way to the final if I make it, then that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, this year, we're not going to make it to the final. However, last season, we were much more successful and obviously we got the win. But anyway, Mertesack is coming in back into the squad for this game against Norwich. And you can see Ospin is finally back from injury, but Chesney is going to take his place because he's still recovering a little bit there. So at the moment, we've only got one fully fit keeper, which, uh, which is a bit dodgy, you know. But I tell you what, Norwich looks really dangerous. They've just been promoted. I thought this would be a game where I should win at least 2-0, maybe 3-0. And I started off so poorly here. In the first 10 minutes, Chesney has to pull off a really good save to keep us 1... Uh, not 1-0, one, 0-0, one, uh, nil, nil, sorry. Lovely ball through here for Ozil from Walcott. It's a lovely run. Ozil is not the paciest guy. And the right foot shot is terrible. I really, really wish I went for a left foot finesse shot there. We'll see if it kicks us back up the arse later on in the game for missing it. But anyway... We got into the second half here at nil nil, and I thought I've got to make some changes because we need to win this game if we want to stay up there in the league. And I just wasn't able to create much chances in the first half. So those changes definitely seem to help towards the last 10 minutes of the game here. We get a great chance with Ben Teke, but I just didn't get the power on it. I've still, I've still got no idea what happened there. I just kind of tapped it, but then we give away a stupid corner here in the last few minutes. And you guys know what Norwich are going to try and do. They're obviously going to try and waste a bit of time. So Johnson passes it out here, and watch what Redmond does. This is a new thing that EA have designed. Basically, they will waste time. They will shield that ball, just like in real football, up against the corner flag. So eventually, you're just going to get absolutely pissed off. You can't win the ball. You're just going to slide in right and get angry. So I decided to slide in, and actually, it wasn't a red card. It meant they just had the free kick instead. And this is in the last minute. So what are they going to do with the free kick? Are they going to pass it short and then waste time? Nope, they're going to whip this one in. They're going to win the header. And boom. Hooper scores his sixth goal of the season and makes it 1-0 to Norwich in the last minutes of the game. Absolutely shocking. Terrible defending from Arsenal. And it means we lose our game against Norwich. Very inconsistent. Very poor match there. But shoddy tactics. Damn you, Norwich. They got me. But after that, we still are top of the league above Newcastle, Spurs, Chelsea and Liverpool. With that win, Norwich climb up to sixth. Absolutely unbelievable stuff from them. But after 15 games, guys, 
10 wins, 3 draws, 2 losses. It's okay. We're, we're okay, guys. We're just going to keep going along here and stay at the top for as long as we can. So if you've enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like rating. Maybe we could hit 3,000 likes. And don't forget to check out my second channel. I've started uploading on there again now. Um, I've literally just uploaded a Halo video. So if you want to go and check that out, link in the description. And I will see you in the next episode soon.